Hey all, uh, this is Sebastian and we're back to play in a demo one. Um, for the next game, I think I want to go with uh, Kurushi. Um, as you can as you can tell, uh, Americans watching will know this as a intelligent cube. Um, controls right. Accelerate cubes. <laughs> These are great out of context, uh, but I'm prompts. Um, uh, whoops. I'm excited to do this one because, uh, as you see, because these are demos, there are small little differences between this and the final products. Because uh, these are mostly work in progresses, usually. And this one has the biggest um, change when I think in tonal shift. Uh, between the demo and the final game. And you'll probably see it when we get into it here. Can we see demo disc? Now, unlike the other games we've played, I think this was near or close uh, to... I was going to say close to launch date, but if it's 97... I see the bottom there, clearly not. Um, yeah, let's go into the rules. <laughs> Again, out of context, great screen. <laughs> Forbidden cube. What is it? <laughs> I need to know. Basic rules. Oh. The concept of the game is to try to capture the cubes. Feels greedy, but okay. The player can mark a spot on the stage by pressing the X button. Oh my god. By pressing the X button again, the player can deactivate the mark. Even this little video is so nostalgic to read. I love this. By marking a spot and then successfully deactivating the spot. Uh, uh, uh. Now let's try to capture a cube. First, mark the spot where a cube should be captured. When the cube is about to land on the marked spot, press the X button. The marked spot is then deactivated, and the cube is captured. Repeat this to capture all the necessary cubes. If any cubes are left to fall off the stage, the number of fallen cubes will be calculated on the block scale. Every time the number of fallen cubes exceeds that of the block scale, the player uses the last row of the stage. The player must prevent the cubes from falling off the stage. I feel like this is one of these great... Um, computer game like impossible scenarios that just seems so like gamey the player is avalanched by the cube but and falls off the stage it's oh. <laughs> but just this seems like a fucking nightmare can't give him a real scream like that i hate it <laughs> 800 <laughs> thumbs up he was measured against the player's efficiency in capturing the cubes as well as the total number of cubes captured I mean, it's no m more silly than how actual IQ is aggregated, honestly. Let's learn a forbidden cube. Forbidden cube. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of the cubes should be captured. <laughs> The black cubes are called the forbidden cubes. The player must leave these cubes alone. <laughs> For every forbidden cube captured, the player will lose the final row of the stage. Oh. 
let the forbidden cubes pass by and fall off the stage. Mm. The player can accelerate the speed of the cubes by pressing the square button. Those fast cues feel like a jump scare in itself. <laughs> and that's Advantage Cube. Advantage Cube. The player can use the green cubes or the Advantage Cubes to efficiently capture the cubes. This is an Advantage Cube. When the player captures an advantage cube, the spot will be marked in green. By pressing the triangle button, the player can capture the surrounding cubes. All the cubes in the marked area will be captured. Let's try to capture cubes by using an advantage cube. Mark and I mean, capture I'm not an advantage okay. cube. Then capture the surrounding cubes by pressing the triangle button. Using the Advantage Cube, the player should be able to efficiently capture multiple cubes. But at the same time, the player must make sure that no Forbidden Cube is included in the marked area. And that's how you play the game. I hope everyone liked my uh, fake like, oh, hmm, as if I can't recite this tutorial from memory because I watched it so many times as a kid. <laughs> but like, this is such a weird novel concept, right? When was the last time you played a game and the rules of it had to be explained to you like a traditional board game or something like that? Like there's homework, there's little homework tutorial videos. <laughs> this is such a relic of PS1 era. It's like, here's how to play our unhinged weird little game. I don't want to hear about your fifth stage. I don't need to... <laughs> Alright, let's go try it in ourselves. And here we're going to see the biggest difference between the final product and the... This demo release. What's that for the one zone? Just complete terrifying silence <laughs> like if you never played the full version of this um, what's a, what we're supposed to be hearing is a weird almost like fake fan version of a John Williams score right now oh <laughs> how about that But yeah, look at this, like, creepy silence versus this, like, cacophony we're hearing right now. Like, dear god. Like, does this not change the entire tone of the piece, like, immediately? Something, like, something genuinely horrific. You're just in this little cube platform in the middle of impossible space. And, um... It's just complete silence with only the crunching of the blocks of your inevitable doom as the soundtrack that's fucking terrifying and i'm dead <laughs> i feel like they must have got feedback for this back in the day of just like oh how'd you find this game yes yeah, great little horror game oh sh <laughs> The IQ three way. <laughs> That's three whole eyes and cues. Spend that however you want. In the fall of ninety six, does it like kick you out already? Wait, I blew it. Give me another chance. <laughs> no. <laughs> Your IQ is three forever. <laughs>
Well, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I only ever played the full release of this, like, um, like years later through, like, emulation. And, like, yeah, the tonal with, like, the delightful music while it's all going on. To, like, I think it may be, like, Hulse Planets, possibly. But, like, imagine Hulse Planets by John Williams. <laughs> That's what it is. Like, it's such a different tone from whatever in God's name that was, right? Like, <laughs> wild. Let's keep going. We're starting to hit the games which um, did not work for me when I originally had the disc. Some of this is like new territory. Hi! <laughs> Mr. Tonka Toy Tenka, hello. Oh, but like another relic that I feel is so exclusive to the PlayStation is like color to denote. To communicate button inputs like it's green press the green one to activate the mines that's wild <laughs> it just genuinely has no equivalent in the modern gaming industry yeah i remember i would see the screen and then it would like freeze up this keeps going i excited oh my god i'm gonna finally be able to play this Cool. My sp okay. <laughs> Full fist of game. It's a type of intelligent mechanoid. Mm. It's just an endless 3D. <laughs> My God, you're supposed to put this at the end. <laughs> if you're already bragging here, I'm a little suspect. Uh. All right, let's get into it. I want L2 up and down. Hard button. Okay. Triangle the jump. That's wild. That's sacrilegious, you know. <laughs> Triangle the jump. That's not how John Mario jumps. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a Doom! It's a Boomer Shooter! Okay, triangle jump seems less sacrilegious. Oh, shit! Oh, God, it has the ammo counter on the gun. Wow, I cannot see shit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, again, intentional or not, the lack of music is kind of terrifying, <laughs> a little terrifying. My gosh. So I can't. Another um. So yeah, obviously, this is before DualShock, so there's no controller for it. And yeah, shoulder buttons to look up and down. That's wild. First of all, the button further away from you should be look up. This is gonna. This is confusing. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> ah! Oh, no, it was fine. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> I got it's moving, and I don't know why. I hate this. Oh, these little guys. Why is it 
Was oh maybe I had a hundred ammo and they like exceeded the ninety nine. I feel like it gets those little green boxes around it when I've hit it, I think. My god, the, <laughs> the health on these things. I feel like the number has no rhyme or reason. It just is whatever it wants, whenever it wants. Oh, maybe I got a power up. Is what's happening here. Uh, is this doing anything? It takes so long. Everything, <laughs> everything takes so long. I'm not enjoying this. Oh my god! The atmospheric kissing the little egg. What? Oh, that's what the timer was. Wow, again, not really aiming to be a full game, just uh, it functions. <laughs> and you know what? I you got to hand it to it. It does function. Alright. We only have four minutes, and I'm not super sure that's going to be enough for our next demo. I mean, it might be. You know what, let's just, oh, uh, oh, ooh, mm, okay. Let's just see. Pause challenge. Of course, when it comes to selling a console, back in the day, the method for showing graphical prowess was racing games. So this is something about a car that's just like, it could be so, even in these, like, early polygonal days, it's like, the closest to be like, whoa, it's almost like it's real. <laughs> Which seems so like quaint in the modern times, but um, yeah, I remember that. I remember seeing Gran Turismo 2 for the first time, and it's like, how could graphics possibly get better? It's a real car, it's a real shape. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I love that, that was fantastic. Hello, friend. Die, friend. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, the handling is... Oh, it's a little slip. It's a little slip. Is there any way to change the bit? There we go. Well, I was saying about being afraid of the demo going too long. It might already be over, friend. <laughs> oh, no. That's fine. Our blue friend is absolutely gone. <laughs> oh, he's so far away. Send that to me? You're driving! <laughs> I was, but I surrendered all control. Haha, <laughs> too bad. <laughs> Bizarre. Alright. Well, that probably wasn't a short demo, but due to my incompetence, it was. <laughs> so I think we're gonna call, <laughs> call that for now. That was an impressive amount of demos for one video, yeah. Um, let's see if we can knock the rest out next time. <laughs>